have been uplifted when they saw the names on United's team sheet at 2 o'clock. There's no Pallister, May, Jonsson, Beckham or Butt. 19-year-old Michael Clegg comes in as a right wing-back with Gary Neville moving into central defence alongside 21-year-old Chris Casper who played with him in United's FA Youth Cup winning team of 92. Roy Keane drops back to make three central defenders and Podborski is the third United player making an FA Cup debut today in because an ankle injury keeps out David Beckham. Wimbledon have not beaten Manchester United since a solitary John Fashinu goal in a league match back in the 1993-94 season. But they have got past this fourth round stage of the FA Cup in each of the last four seasons. And they must surely fancy their chance now, having seen the wholesale changes that United have been forced to make. Podborski. Challenge came in quickly. Cantona trying to find himself room as Giggs takes the kick. That will be a Manchester United throw. Clegg waits for somebody to show. He kept cool. Giggs. Cantona slips him in. Here's Giggs. Cut back. Roy Keane. And the ball somewhere into the faces behind the goal when in truth it should have been nestling in the back of the net. The Giggs Cantona link up breached Wimbledon's defence. A touch from the Welshman to the Frenchman in behind them, cut back for Roy Keane. And somehow he never got his foot wrapped around it. Trying to feed Podborski. Leclerc back as a defender. Jones helps it on. It's over the crossbar. Podborski makes a run. Sullivan starts to come for it. He... Well, he's in trouble, Sullivan. You can tell the way Graham Paul has reacted. But I think he feels that Podborski has cheated. Just outside the, well, just on the edge of the area. Podborski went down, or was there contact? Well, he stays on, Sullivan. It's yet. Giggs with the left foot. Oh, he's gone for it! Fantastic save! Well, makeshift Manchester United reach half time without their defence being breached. Will Sullivan with the save of the half, suddenly it's end to end and he slips in Gale Schmeichel waits at the near post Ekoku didn't get the touch that was required Leclerc, here's Podborski now this looks better for Manchester United left foot Sullivan equal to it the corner Jones defends with the header, then Ardley. And here's Roy Keane. McLaren. Giggs. Well, he couldn't have got down much lower to head that Brian McLaren. That's a touch. Giggs breaks down the right. Giggs gets another chance. Here's Scholes. Oh, it's well hit! Giggs takes the corner. Again, it was Vinnie Jones who won the header. Cole tries to direct it down. Knocked up by Earl. Cole! Still nil-nil. Inside the last 10 minutes. Wimbledon uh, won away in the Premiership this season five times. At Everton, Chelsea, West Ham, Sunderland and Derby. That's the United defenders header. That'll be a corner. It's 
fourth round kept out heading towards its conclusion Hardly will take the corner saved on the line but it squirms away from Schmeichel Perry gets in and it's another corner Chris Perry with his hands on his head Schmeichel having to be brave to go down absolute forest of feet Wimbledon applying pressure right up to the end that wasn't as good a corner Dennis Irwin took it away from Vinnie Jones brilliantly Solskjaer Giggs here's Cantona Scholes yes The player that Alec Ferguson calls my little nuisance. A dramatic finish to the match at the Dell last Saturday. And uh, this looks like a Wimbledon free kick against the, the baby-faced assassin, as we call him, Solskjaer. In Manchester United's penalty area. Robbie Earl! Oh, yes! Robbie Earl has taken the credit and it's 1-1. Goal, must have thought that he'd won it for his makeshift team. Robbie Earl with that late, late equaliser, and there are stunned expressions at Old Trafford. And the final score, would you believe it, is Manchester United 1, Wimbledon 1. Manchester United, Andy Cole, who scored the winner last Wednesday in the league match between these two teams, is preferred to Oleg Gunnar Solskjaer, who was unlucky not to score a hat-trick in that match and indeed set out the chance that Cole eventually took. Manchester United playing from right to left as we look. The pitch pleasantly soft, I would think, on top. Quite heavy rain in the hour or so before the kickoff. Much talk about fatigue with Wimbledon. The uh, manager refers in the programme to the fact that it's his team's sixth game in 17 days. Keane had it for a moment. Nicely held up. Jones, too strong for Earl. Holdsworth, Lenardson. And no flag went up, and the chance was not taken by... The turn by Gale. Pass didn't match it, poor clearance by Jonsson. Koku! And Leonardson, they've had two clear chances, Wimbledon. First to Koku's head, and the second from Koku. To Leonardson's feet. Irwin. Goal. Beckham! Blocked by Blackwell. Turned his back. Cole in the six yard box. Massive others coming forward. Met by Earl. Akoku. Support coming up on the left side, but Akoku goes past Irwin. Chance to recover. And Schmeichel did well. And may well have injured himself in the process. Did really well here. Did Akoku. It's clean away, but by now Schmeichel is already coming. And the extra touch as Michael came made the angle in favour of the goalkeeper. Hickey forward. Here's Leonardson. Hit Keane. No, it was a bit too far forward. But no worry. Mick Jagger among the uh, spectators.
all about that for a crossfield ball. Cantona, a bit of leaning on by Cunningham. And the Frenchman resists. Keane, gigs wide to the left. Three in the box. This is Cantona. And that's a good save. Two just outside. And Schmeichel claims with ease. Beckham. Boborski right. Cole and Giggs now left. Beckham. Termination from the Koku. Little Trafford two. Cole. Giggs. Away right by Perry. They haven't changed that in spite of the failure last week. Pakistan is blocked! Oh, Mr. making it his. Oh, they got what they wanted. Here comes the throw. Away goes a Koku. Earl Gale, Holdsworth, Leonardson. All waiting for the ball in the middle. And he could come now at a good angle. And here's Gale! Janssen. Cantona. Have to come back across. Vinnie Jones. McClare. In comes Beckham. McClare. Beckham forward. Manchester United followers. Willing their team to save themselves at the death here. Giggs. Cantona, it's a corner. And up comes Schmeichel. In their hour of need, he's up. But it's hit a long way back. Ah! Schmeichel! But he's offside! He's offside! It's not going to count. He scored once before. European competition but he was clearly offside here as the ball has won at the back and there's all sorts of trouble going on as we look at the replay it was Pallister's header but Schmeichel clearly offside it's a magnificent attempt by him but here by Harpin half away by Jones Keane Neville Beckham makes the overlap Pallister was pushed down well, Wimbledon are very lucky to get away with that. Here's Pannister again. Put out for the corner by Perry. Going down, fighting. Away by Koku. Might have scored at the beginning. But that's not to be the last clearance. Still more time. On Graham Pohl's watch. Neville to take the throw. Three around Pallister. Jones hoisted into the night sky. And Wimbledon have beaten Manchester United. The cup holders are out and there is the scorer. That was a fantastic game. I thought Wimbledon deserved the victory. Worked very hard for it. Um, we were just a bit disappointed when they scored the goal. It was their best period of the game. But that's what happens in cup tie football. You lose a goal late in the game or in the period of the second half when it gives them another breather and they get some hope out of it. Because I thought that just at that moment we're starting to get top.